This is problem number 36 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we've got a table showing uh, the number of weeks a new app has been out and the number of times it's been downloaded each week. Uh, the first thing we need to do is write an exponential equation that models the, the data. Okay, now in order to do that, we're going to have to use our graphing calculators. So you'll want to go um, into um, stat edit, and then you'll write down your L1 and L2 values from the table, 120, 180, 270, and 405. And once you've got that done, you'll press uh, stat again, and calc and then you'll want to choose, because we want an exponential equation, exponential regression is the option you want. Now once you've got that clicked, you should find out that in the form of an equation y equals a times b to the power of x, we should get an a value of 80 and a b value of 1. Point five, And that's all we need to do for the first part of this question. We've now got our exponential equation from just using our graphing calculator. Okay, next step is to use the model to predict how many download downloads the Dell developer would expect in the 26th week if this trend continues. And that's really simple to do. All we need to do is replace the number of weeks, our x variable, with the number 26. Let's do that down here. So what we're going to calculate is 80 times 1.5 to the power of 26. And using your graphing calculator, we should get a solution of 3,030,140 downloads. Okay. Now, the third and final part to this problem is uh, the question, would it be reasonable to, sorry, just one second, I'm just grabbing a new marker. Okay, would it be reasonable to use this model to predict the number of downloads past one year? Now, when you realize we're talking about an app, right? That's being, I, um, is it for a phone? Well, I'll assume it's for a phone. Um, you probably know from experience that apps come and go. Um, it there's I mean there's a chance that this app could keep succeeding, but one year from the future, it's pretty darn impossible to predict mathematically what's going to happen a year from now for an app. So you might say something along the lines of what I typed up here, um, that it'd be too difficult to predict an app's popularity one year from now, and people could completely ignore the app in the future, right? There's no way of knowing for sure. Okay, that's all for the video. Thanks very much for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.